So, you're at the gym. You show up and you're thinking, hmm, I want something different. I want something that's going to get me fit, that's going to get me lean, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Boy, do I have a workout for you. What's up guys, Austin back with another video and today I'm here to share with you a fun rowing and cycling high intensity interval training workout. High intensity interval training or HIIT training is a great way to get yourself fit, get yourself lean and it keeps the workout very fun, very engaging but also very intense. But I mean, hey, you're trying to get in shape, right? You gotta bring some intensity and today we're gonna combine both the rowing machine and a cycling bike bring those thing, those two things together into a fun but simple and effective high intensity interval training workout. So let's get started. This workout is gonna break things down into one minute on, one minute off between the two machines. Now when we say on, that is the working portion of the workout. When we say off, that is the rest and recovery portion. So we're gonna start off on the rowing machine. Now before you even start this workout, you wanna make sure you're nice and warmed up. So I definitely suggest taking a few minutes on both the rowing machine and on a cycle bike to get your body warm and ready. I recommend checking out my learn to row in 60 seconds video. You can watch that for a quick overview on how to row or you can watch some of my older videos to check out more in detail on proper rowing form. So once you've taken a few minutes to warm up, we're gonna start off on the rowing machine, setting your interval for one minute of work and we're gonna go as hard as possible at 16 strokes per minute. That's right, hold your horses now. When Just because you're on the rowing machine doesn't mean you need to be going blazing fast, up and down, up and down, up and down. You can make 16 strokes per minute hard and intense. You just gotta be efficient. So do the work as you drive the stroke back, but be patient on your way back up. You're gonna do that 16 strokes per minute as hard as you can for the minute. You're gonna hop off, your heart rate's gonna be elevated, and then during that minute off, you're gonna transfer yourself over onto your cycle bike. And similar to keeping the low stroke rate on the rowing machine for this first interval on the bike, we're gonna keep it at a fairly low cadence. That is your pedals per minute. And once your minute off is done, you're gonna start pedaling as hard as you can, but keeping that low cadence of 60 to 65. So that's closer to sort of like a mountain climbing cycle effort, not super fast legs, but the legs are still working, still burning hard, even at that low cadence. Now once that's done, you're on your minute off once again. Time to head back to the rower, and from here, the workout can progress. And so each minute, we are going to add two additional strokes per minute on the rowing machine and an additional five on your cadence while on the bike. So for instance, that first interval, 16 strokes per minute, 60 for your cadence, second interval, 18 strokes per minute, 65 cadence, then 20 strokes per minute, 70, and building up like that. Now you can build that up as much as you'd like. I recommend making it at least a 20 minute workout though, giving you five intervals on both machines. Now to truly get the most out of this though, you really have to push yourself during that minute on. However, you don't want to go in guns blazing and then you're just dead for the last 30 seconds, right? You can go hard and a max effort, but you gotta give a max effort for a minute. So you might need to taper back your intensity a little bit and sort of feel it out. But when you're on the rowing machine, as that stroke rate goes up, your power output should be increasing as well. Same with when you're on the bike with that higher cadence, we're still looking for more watts generated, more power in the legs. And by the time you get even five intervals into the workout, you're gonna be breathing and you're gonna to be toast. But because each of the things are increasing in either stroke rate or cadence, it keeps things very interactive, keeps things fun. Because in the end, guys, working out is all about having fun. Getting fit, strong, and lean doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be a chore. So try out this workout next time you're in the gym and let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What are you doing for your workouts this summer? I love to hear what you're doing. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.